Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with the Yard Man. And we're here again to perform. And there's something about red meat that when I'm preparing it, it almost feels sanctimonial, you know? You really gotta take time to prepare the flesh. So, was watching a tutorial the other day and it was a, a Japanese fellow and he was enjoying some shaved beef. And as I say, really treating the fiber in the beef is an art. So today, we are going to make some tender beef strips. We're going to make some beautiful beef strip and we're going to start like we always start our our show. I've already washed the meat and we're going to add some homemade Jamaican jerk seasoning. This is a bit too much but I like to have the flavor in. Well flavored. As I say, whenever the boss one um steak i don't get no warning before it's just 30 minutes before like hey can you make me some steak please so i'm not able to properly marinate it but keeping the same flavor simple a little bit of salt Look a bit of our dry rub. Flip. Dry rub again. A little bit of black pepper for flavor. And if I didn't put any garlic powder in it, I would be lying. She's not a Jamaican, so she don't like the hot stuff. So, oh, leave the hot stuff alone. So we're gonna switch this around. Go ahead and grease the pot. Babe, did you bite the butter? As an adult, <laughs> the lady beat the butter. She eating it anyway still. So I'm gonna grease the pot. This new diet is madness, but I just gotta work with it. Diet is eat butter. Okay then. So now. The genius or the trick behind the steak tenderness that we're hoping to get is that we're going to create lovely thin slices. Maybe I'm using the wrong part of the meat for this, but. well hot because as we put it in two flips and it will be ready come on man I thought salt be everything you know
meat here. Beautiful, not too thin. You don't want the meat all shrivel up on you and stuff like that. It isn't a hot pot. Okay, so we got like two, four, five, six beautiful strips. And while I'm putting this in the pot, remember to subscribe to our Money Talk channel. You know what? We're gonna rub the sides them that have just been opened up. We're gonna get them back on here. And we're gonna get them all flavored in. Okay, so as you see, we got the pot now. Pot and ready. I just wanna go in there. Beautiful. If you could smell it, you cry. Beautiful. Nice and tender. Don't be afraid of the heat. Look at that. Ooh. Just like that. No. Uh, as I say, my wife be on weird diet. If I was, if I was able to, I would be. I would cut up some seasoning at this point: onion, garlic, thyme, and I would add it to it to really bring out the flavor. But because our diet don't really call for, it calls for naked meat. Looking for something like this, a little bit of oh, look at that, that beautiful charredness. But I promise you, it smells like a, a, a chart. Go over it. Real barbecue in the pot. Look at that nice roast fish. That's what I'm going for. I was say I got this idea from watching the Japanese cook. Not even soy. Right now it need a little bit of soy sauce, but I'm just gonna add some more butter. And then as you know, it's time to temp again. Um, right now I'm going to serve this up with eggs and some bacon. That's it right here. That beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna see if we can get Madame to come out here and taste this it for us. Alright, they're, they're ready. 
we already established in our other video that 135 is the cooking temperature for the style that she likes it. Okay. Okay, so right here, I'm going to lightly beat this egg, these eggs. Just lightly beat it, you really... It's the type of texture I'm going for. I'm going for like a full texture, but I still want it to be solid. Okay, so we deglazed our pot with some butter. And a piece of the steak I had left behind. Uh, all of this is just steaky goodness. As I said, the diet that I'm cooking for, the person don't eat any carbs, any sugar, any nothing, just animal product. See, there is a carnivore. You could wait until it's in the pot, but you can go ahead and add your black pepper. And salt and just mix it in.
thick strip with buttered eggs, people. Remember, the site in the yard man kitchen first. There you go. Okay. All right, we're gonna cut, come back to presentation and see what we customer think. Um, we're doing um, steak strip with eggs. Okay. 